Hello, YouTube. Is on the road, caveman. I'm caveman. My flag out there. I want to do a little tour Talk about the lighting. Do a little tour of my truck camper. I know I've done a tour before, but I want to do an official tour since I got most of it complete already. Going around the camper, I'll show you. This is the air conditioning unit I, I had installed where I put it myself. I had a window there, I knocked the window out. And I put a window. The door, of course. Got a little rack up there that I, that I put up there for the shovel. I don't know if you can see it. This is a little rack with hooks so I can hang shovels up and Hang other stuff. Do the same thing right here. See the little axe. Extra stuff. Keep the grill. Things like that. Got a little basket right here. A little basket right there. That's where I put all my stuff that I carry. My chair, extra firewood. That's my little barbecue pit right there. I got a canopy in there. Here's my shore power. Shore power. I'm not really sure what these vents are there for. Then there's nothing behind there. My sink's right there. But here my water heater used to be. I mean my refrigerator was here. But I took the refrigerator out. And I put just a regular 110 refrigerator. Which I'll show y'all in a bit. The truck is an F-250. A 1999 F-250. You can hear that, that's my generator. Here's the inside of the truck. Got a CB, a little fan over there. Little hose, I'll show you what that hose is for right now. Just a regular pickup truck. It does got a super chip in it, but that's all I've ever done to this truck. It's a standard diesel. headed that part out that's the back of some just right here I put an extra storage there's my outdoor grill my WD-40 and extra little stuff jumper cables this red hose right here is my outdoor shower as y'all can see I got a quick connect right here with my short water right now I got I'm here at the, my house so I got my hose hooked up goes right there and feeds the water inside this little spout right here came with my and this little red hose goes in here, clicks. And you got yourself a little outdoor shower, you just open the valve right here. Oh yeah, I gotta hit that. You got yourself a little outdoor shower. I still have an uh found a way to then you just take it off right here like that and that's your outdoor shower right there like I said it came with that that red hose right there where that nose came right there, there. Yeah, that's the way it's hooked up this is just the little, just the water hose. This is the pressure regulator, and just an adapter. The little thing, two things right there. And you see my hot, my Predator generator from Harbor Freight. Barely here. Got some lights, my fishing rod holder. Yes. That's the truck, an F-250, 1999 F-250, 7.3 liter diesel. These little lights right here, they turn, they're solar power lights, they turn on at night. But here's where I store all my 
this is where, where the restroom's at really and it's right underneath the sink is where the hot water heater was at but i took the water heater out the old one and installed a tankless one the propane propane tankless water heater so right there is where i have my sewage hose and my regular water hose from when i from when i'm going to campground or something so here's another one of those lights solar lights light right up there here's my tie down i got one right there tying that pink that orange one's tying down to the bumper this one is on those things right there those came they came with a crap camper they go to the bed as you can see here i got some airbags airbag system i even got an added leaf i put an added leaf to stabilize it but it's still swaying side to side because of the weight of the camper, I guess. So I decided to put a airbag system. And I put some shocks. They're Firestone airbags. They work very good. I love them. That's pretty much the outside of my camper. We'll hold on a bit. I'll show you all my solar. Hold on. There's my camper again. See, there's another. I got those lights. Another one right there. Where's that? Right there. I got them on all four corners. They light, light up real good at night. I got them there at Harbor Freights. And they work extremely good. I really, really like them. Anyways, run up this ladder. Show you all my solar. Can you see the generator? Here's my solar system. See, I got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight panels of 25 watts a piece. All I did was put these boards. You can see this is just board with a bracket. And I put silicone in there. Put these boards going across. Here, look right here. All the way across, and I bolted the solar panels on there. And I've been surprisingly, surprisingly satisfied with these solar panels. They're from Harbor Freights. And since I didn't know much about solar, I didn't want to spend a whole, money, a whole bunch of money on solar learning. So I decided to buy some cheap solar at Harbor Freight just so I could learn. And I figured once I learned a little bit about it, I'll go ahead and buy me a better system. But these have been working out so good for me that I just can keep them. They work very good. I, I'm very satisfied with them. And like I said, they're just solar running. It's only 200 watts, but the only thing that my solar power powers is a refrigerator and a couple of plugs. Get back down. So here's the other side. Here's the other airbag. Here's the little nozzles right here little air nozzles and what I do is I bought this thing also at Harbor Freeze it's another thing that you can I could buy a real expensive one but I didn't want to go real too expensive so I bought this air compressor 
hooks up straight to the battery. I think it was like like seventy nine dollars at Harbor Freight, something like that. Works extremely good. Here's a matting. This mat. Take this mat out. Put it on the ground. Put it right there. That's how I use my outdoor shower. Let's see if there's anything else in here that I need to show you. No. It's just a basic radio, my CB, CB, my CB antenna up there. No power, anything. When I'm going down the road, I plug this into right here. That's for my lights. This is where I fill up with water. Cause it's got a, a tank in here. I'm not exactly sure how big the tank is, but there's no steps. There's my door. Come on in. This is the entrance. See, I've only had that. It's a hot day outside. I've only had that cooler. About 30 minutes. And boy, is it cool. Here's my kitchen area. You can see here's the water faucet. I put a little spot on it so I can move it from side to side. Put that a little closer. The this thing is uh this is my cleaning supplies they just gave me this the other day this is my little stove it has a four burner stove all the, the top stream are in here which I never really use it I don't use the oven See, I got all those tops. I got all four. They're all in here. Little magnet. I've been, uh, here's a bit of storage. As you can see, got all this storage right here. Keep it up my, my little propane, green propane tanks. Flex here, oxygen, my little coffee maker. Coffee. I got another coffee maker up there. I got a little printer right there. A little printer, uh, printer to print uh, pictures from the from the phone. Sometimes I'll take a picture and I want to print it out. I can print it out right there real quick. Like I want to print it and give it to somebody. Here's when uh, my daughter goes with me. She brings her cat. So I got some cat food, paper plates, paper towels, some a caulking gun, just extra caulking. Armor off, foil paper, different stuff. Bug repellent. Like I said, just a storage to put extra things. This camper's got a bunch of storage. Trash bags, sunblock, a toaster. I got, up here, I got uh, my seasonings for my food. There's the little, the little sofa area. These things are just temporary. They're just the cushions, but all they are is just pillowcases that I put over the cushions. I want to actually get them real poster. I found a way to do it on YouTube. As soon as I get a chance, I'll, I'll get it done because you can see they're already stained or whatever. Here's the uh, air conditioner. I was going to throw away these uh, curtains to get new ones, but I don't know. They're kind of old timey, kind of go with the camper. I wanted to put a new backsplash also, but another, like I said, another thing is. I wanted to start remodeling it like completely, but I don't know, I kind of like the old, these weren't this color, my wife painted them. So gave it a little bit different view. These up there are lights. As you can see, little lights at night, they light up pretty, pretty neat. I got some other ones running down there. Running down there. 
that's an outdoor shower. Like I said, I got an outdoor shower. So if, I, if I'm gonna normally be somewhere three or four days, I'll set that up right there. I'll right there where that shower was at. Set it up, stake it down, and be nice and neat. But here I have an extra little sleeping bag. I got extra tools right there, and there's my buddy, my buddy heater. Which this thing also has a heater right here. And all I do is turn that one on, and man, that works great. I got this little thing. I recommend this for everybody. You fill it up with water, give it a, fuck up, a few pumps right here, and just press right here, and it sprays out. And what I do is I use that to clean my feet or if I need to clean some dishes outside or whatever. Clean my feet. If I go to the beach, I wipe my feet down, I clean my feet down with those. This table actually comes off. This thing comes off and this part goes down and it goes on these things. And when it goes on there, it makes another bed. And I got a blanket I put on there. This right here is a mirror back here. My son was sleeping here the other day with me and he said he didn't like the mirror, look, learn, look at himself in the mirror or whatever, so he put that cover. Here's my refrigerator, some waters. All those wires back here are from my solar. They come down there, they go through the back, and they go over there to my power station, which I'll show you in a little bit. That's just an extra... That's an extra barbecue pit. I bought it, thinking I might need it one day, and never used it. Some waters. Here's my refrigerator. See, it's empty right now because I'm here at home. But it's on, it's being powered. Right here's the mother storage where I keep my cutting board, knives, all kinds of like whatever. Here are just another thing, tools, a little catch all stuff I might need down the road. In here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you see it right there. Just got extra straps. These are lights I put outside. And right there's my inverter. If you can see it. It's a Jupiter 2000 watt inverter. And what I do, put this back. There's some collapsible buckets when I'm outside washing or whatever. But what I do with that inverter. I'll get the plug that it goes to the RV. I mean the RV. The plug that goes to the shore power. And what I do is I uh, I turn off the one switch for because there's a the AC to DC charger. I'm not leveled right now, so. A little bit of light showing. But anyways, and there's a DC to DC charger. I mean, not DC to DC. Uh, the converter, the AC converter for the for the trailer, the camper. And what I do is I plug in the main shore power to that to that uh, 2,000 watt inverter, and it powers all the plugs. But I got to turn that one breaker off turn off that converter or else as they say it just does a loop and it's trying to charge up the batteries and it's not even connected to the batteries so it's, it ends up draining the batteries so I just turn it off and that's why I have these little lights right here and you can see the switch right here these little lights right here came with that Harbor Freight kit so I'm telling you I really like that Harbor Freight kit they came with that Harbor Freight kit here's another one that's in the restroom So I just dug a hole and put it there. But here's the here's that tankless water heater runs on propane. There's the sink and there's the there's the shower shower head. But so watch y'all sit right here and I just throw a little shower. Of course I get all that out, put it all up in here. Throw a little shower, you know, whatever. Get a nice little shower going if I need to. There's a curtain right here. So I just close that curtain like that. And I'll be inside the restroom right here. Take a little shower. Take a little, a little quick shower, a little rinse off or whatever. 
This is a pretty good size shower. They call it one of them wet bath. For a big guy like me, shoot, it's a good shower. See, there's the toilet. There's the drain and the towel. Got wipes and everything in there. This is the bedroom. This is where I sleep. Got a window there, a window though there, another window there. I wanted to cover up the windows right there in the front, but I started thinking in uh, winter time, it's nice to open them up and at nighttime also and look at everything. It's pretty nice. We got lights right there, right there. And then I bought these lights right here that I just stuck on there again from Harbor Freight. And they got a little remote control. There's a fan with a plug right there. My bag. This right here closed if you want privacy in the bedroom. You can close this. So I gotta move all this. I don't remember how to do it, but anyway, this these doors right here, they close all the way if you wanna do it. Here's my closet. Here's another one of those little lights I was telling you about. Different color. My shells and my shotgun. Here's my pants, extra pants, extra pair of pants, jacket for the winter. And here's a little ammo bar, so another plug if I need some plug. Here's what I'm telling you all the, the solar comes from. All the solar wires come right here. Hook up to this thing. This thing that allows me to hook up more solar, pa solar panels than just one set. So I got two sets, which so it makes it 200 watts. Goes up to a controller right there. And as you can see, I know that 13.8 powering the, I got full batteries right now. It's got different settings or whatever. Right there, you can plug in something, charge it. It's got USB. So but the only thing that this thing powers, like I said, is my refrigerator. And uh, some of the plugs. Here's a little skylight, a little whatever skylight. I got another one over there in the bedroom. You see it, which I want to put a fan. But other than the plastic fans or whatever. Just haven't got it. And here. Down here where I'm stepping on is a water tank. And it's got, man, I don't know the gallons, but it's got a good capacity. I never fill it up because to me, I don't need it that much. Basically, it's just to take a shower. I hardly ever fill it up. And here, we take this seat off and open it as the, the water pump. Right there's where the water pump and all the, a lot of the plumbing is right there. And all I do, if I need to work on it, I gotta prime up the water pump. You gotta prime it up. And there's the switches right here. You can see the switch right here. Here. I can turn it on. And if I don't have, if I don't have that short pipe, I mean, if I don't have water, short uh, let water from the water hose, I can fill up that. Make sure that one has a little bit of water in there in that short, that great tank, the water tank. I'm sure it takes, I think, about 20 gallons. Either way, I can put 20 gallons in there, and those 20 gallons will, will be good. Take a quick little shower or whatever. Like I said, it's, it's man, it is, it is really extremely hot outside right now. I've had this on maybe 30 minutes. The water's already cool. This is a fan for when you're cooking. The exhaust fan it has a little light turns on. If you there it is. You can hear it. I usually just leave it off. I never. I hardly ever cook in here. The only time I cook in here is maybe breakfast. 
if I'm camping somewhere, I'll cook breakfast in here. Or I'll cook, um, you know, if I want to make a soup or something in the middle of the night or whatever, and I don't want to go outside. Something like that, maybe. Or I have my daughter with me or something. I might cook up a little soup or something for them. And then and like a snack in the middle of the night. But most of the time, I just barbecue outside. <coughs> but this right here is my battery setup. Let me show y'all real quick. See, I got two batteries in there. They're regular marine batteries. And I got them set up in, in a series. I think it's series. That right there is a battery charger. Like right now, if I want to, since I'm hooked up to short power. Those are just extra cables that I haven't used yet. But I got those right that this right here is a battery charger. Again, Harbor Freights. Then if I want to. If I want to, I can uh I'm like right now that I'm hooked up to a short with my generator on, I can plug in that uh, chart that uh battery charger, plug it in over there, and hook it up to my batteries and charge up my batteries when I'm going. I can do that right now, but uh, as you saw on the little monitor, the batteries are full. So I, I, there's no need to do that right now. The only time I would do that is if I'm somewhere, because those, I said on, on rainy days, I can last at least three days. I mean, I can't power my air conditioner, but powering all the little plugs, charging my phone up, my got a little camera, I charge up, I run that fan, and my refrigerator, which is just a little dorm-sized refrigerator. I got these magnets. I tried to buy stickers, but they didn't have none this last time I get to these places. So they had magnets, so I bought these magnets. Anyways. Well, uh, they, uh, I, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I can, I can go about at least three days, three or four days. On rainy days, when I get good sun. Here lately, like the way the sun is, getting real good sun. Man, those batteries, they stay charged. This doesn't really use that much electricity. And as long as I don't have a bunch of stuff plugged in, which I never do, it runs awesome. I think it uh, it actually, I could go a whole week with good sun. But that's why I have that generator, just in case it's a real quiet generator, even if I just need to charge up the batteries real quick. I've been wanting to get me one of those DC to DC. Maybe y'all could put the comments on below. I really don't know how good they work. Because uh, I was told that I could just run uh, red and uh, negative and power wire from the truck over here while it's running but then other people told me that it'll mess up my alternator that I need to get a DC to DC charger and they're not that expensive so I might just get one just to just to be safe and like I said I'm not too good when it comes to electricity I'm not too good at that so I'm not I'm not 100% inf I need a little bit more information you can leave it on the comment tell me if y'all think a DC to DC if, like if I have to have one which I probably like I said I probably just get one anyways And I always carry. You know, I know nowadays you gotta have Lysol sprayed all over the place. Try to stay sanitized as much as possible. Like I said, I was gonna try to remodel the whole camper in the inside. I've seen them do it on YouTube. But I started, uh, I started looking at the camper as far as the plumbing wise and everything, even the water lines are copper lines. They're not uh, PVC lines. So I said, huh, and then when we had that, I'm from Texas, y'all know we had that big old freeze here in Texas. I didn't even, all I did was just leave the water draining over there in the back. And none of my lines busted. I didn't have no problems. The only thing that did bust is the only thing that is uh, P, it's have part PVC or whatever is the toilet. But what I did is I just uh, I just plugged the line up and the little the little toilet pump because it's a regular RV toilet. I really don't need it. All I do is just open up the toilet. I get one of these, <clears throat> pour a little bit of water in there, do my business, flush it while I'm flushing it. While I'm flushing it, I pour a little bit more water in there and just leave it like that. And then whenever I go go to a waste uh, dump station. I let the water, I get another thing, I mean I hook up the water hose, 
run the water hose in there for the dump station, put it in the toilet, and just let it drain out into the dump station. It works out, works out fine. But uh, I've been trying to, you know, clean it up a little bit. It's a 1982. This is a 1982 Coachman. No, an 85. My bad. So I'm sorry. 1985 Coachman. And it's an old trailer, but it's a 1999 pickup truck, 2000. I mean, a uh, diesel, 7.3 liter, which everybody tells me is the toughest motor they've ever made. I don't know, but it's running fine to me. And uh, I just go fishing, camping when I can, when I get a chance. I'm a truck driver, so whenever I'm off, I'll try to go and do a little fishing, a little camping. This, this truck four wheel drive gets me to places where I probably wouldn't be able to go with a with a regular camper. And that's why I like it, so I love it. Everybody, my wife and everybody said I was crazy when I bought it. I found it on Craigslist for a thousand dollars. I bought it and I put the air conditioner and all the water things and fixed everything and took out the stove thing, put the refrigerator, put this one. I put that, like I said, that water, that instant water heater, that instant water heater, it's a game changer. This thing's awesome. Especially on days where you just want to take a quick little shower, it's, it's rad. It doesn't, it doesn't give you hot water in the outside shower, but if you want to take a shower on the outside shower, it's because it's a hot day and it's, it, the water is just fine, nice and, nice and fresh. And the sink, it's a good little, good little camper. I like it. But either way, this has been on the road with Caveman. I try to get some more videos out there when I can. Hope y'all enjoy this one. If y'all do, give it a thumbs up. If y'all haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Like I said, I'm not a you know professional filmmaker or anything like that. So my videos are just regular little small videos. Not even how-to videos, they're just videos that I do. But either way, this is On The Road with Caveman, and I will see y'all later. Peace.